ago, me and John went to elementary school together at Puahala. And that's where we first met, officially. Well, the first time I actually, you know, met Med while we were at, um, I was at Safeway Kaneohe. And, you know, it just so happened that she was there at the same time. I'm not sure why she was there. I think she was there for like um for a party or something. But um I just remember I remember seeing her. I think, oh wow, you know, I haven't seen her in, you know, so many years. We started talking when he saw me at Safeway, but I don't remember him talking much. And then she's getting ready to leave. And um <laughs> I I told her, um, don't get the ice here. It's junk. So that's kinda of like my lead my lead in pickup line. And then she kind of gave me this weird look and she said, okay, bye. And she walked away. And um, as I was thinking to myself, I was thinking, oh man, that was a, that was a horrible, horrible, you know, way to end the conversation. He was just being very awkward and John like, All I can remember from back in the days is him stalking me at Sears. When I'd be working at Sears, he'd just pass by the entrance and just look in. No hi, Sheena, nothing. She'll probably tell you that um, I started to stalk her at, at Sears. It isn't true. You know, it just so happened to be that um, I was at the mall at the same time that she was working. My first impressions of him is he's very shy. A little bit awkward, but very sweet. Like, he is a very sweet person. And that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> we just kind of, you know, kind of grew into a friendship. For our first unofficial date, <laughs> he took me to Taco Bell. And the only thing I could remember from that is he kept teasing me of how I ate my tacos. And then she would roll it up like a burrito. I remember commenting to her and telling her that's not how you eat a taco. So he kept trying to show me how to eat a taco the correct way. Even till this day, she still can't she still can't get it right. We were just friends actually. Like he always um, helps me out here. We all would hang out. If he had to go to a girl movie, he'd take me with him. So I was his fake girlfriend and he was my fake boyfriend. And all of a sudden I started catching some feelings for him. I thought she was absolutely gorgeous. Um, I, I thought to myself, I have to get to, you know, get to know her better. I was trying to figure out if he liked me too, but he told me no. <laughs> He said, if I ever have feelings for you, I'll let you know. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna wait around forever. So, okay, I got a plan. Uh, you know, we, we do all the stuff that friends would do. Um, you know, go to Costco, uh, go out to the movies, just hang out, you know, just kind of be friends. I, I called him up one day and I asked him that there's this really cute guy at church and I want to maybe ask him out. Do you think I should approach him or do you think I should not approach him? And he told me, no, you should just let him go and don't approach him. Don't scare him off. And right after that, he came around and he started showing his intentions. He asked me on a date. So we actually went on our first official date. We went to Cheesecake Factory. So we were there waiting, waiting for about an hour or so. The line was long and ridiculous. And eventually, you know, we got, we got in, we ordered our um, appetizers and our food. And then I, I took her by the hand and I asked her, you know, officially if um, she wanted to be my girlfriend. And he like was super serious. He grabbed my hand and he goes, Sheena, will you be my girlfriend? And I was like, what's going on? But that was our official first start of our dates because I tricked him.
So how I proposed to Sheena was, um, I actually started planning it out maybe in November. Um, I, I went out and um, I bought the ring that she was always she always wanted. Uh, before I actually proposed to her, um, you know, I scouted out the area. Uh, I took um, my photographer, which is now one of my groomsmen, uh, Steve, out there. We kind of hunted out the place where we were gonna do it at, which ended up to be a uh, 53 by the sea in Kakaako. So the day John proposed, I had a last minute sound check for church because we had a big event the next day on Sunday. And I was trying to get out of it, but um, the pastor told me I had to come at least for an hour. It's about maybe like an hour before our reservations. You know, I get into the car, we start heading down to um, 53 by the sea. And she's complained the entire time. I did not want to go somewhere fancy. We weren't celebrating anything. It was in March. It wasn't for a birthday. It wasn't for Valentine's Day. It wasn't for anything. So I was complaining. And I kept telling him, let's just go to McDonald's. So naturally, I get there about half an hour early, which she always complains about because I'm always either early or on time. So I get there, we valet park our vehicle, and then I ask her if she wants to go and um, walk around. And me in my fancy clothes, my pretty makeup, my hair, and my heels did not want to go walking. So of course I start complaining again. <laughs> and he takes me to Kaka'ako because he told me that he's never seen Kaka'ako before, which I believed. And she's trying to take um, Instagram pictures and selfie pics of the area. So I finally, um, you know, I take her by the arm, I kind of maneuver her into position. And I wanted to take a selfie with Diamond Head in the background, but he wouldn't let me, which is weird because he usually lets me do whatever I want to do. And then he starts holding my hand and he starts shaking. And he's like, his hands are so cold. I'm like, wait, why are you being so weird? And then um, I tell her, you know, I, I, you irritate me, but there's nobody else that I want to irritate me for the rest of my life. And then she's like, oh, what's, what's going on? What's happening? And I get down on one knee and then I ask her, oh, Sheena, will you marry me? And I freaked out and I said, of course, yes, of course. Actually, I didn't say that. I said, oh no, I didn't shave my finger. <laughs> and I didn't paint my nails because I wasn't expecting it, obviously. So anyway, she says yes and I stand back up and I reach for my back pocket and I was like, oh, where's my, where's my ring at? Where, where's the ring at? And I started panicking. I thinking, I'm thinking someone in Kaka'ako has my ring. A bum is rich now. He has my ring. And he goes, no, help me look around for it. So I'm looking on the ground, looking for it. And then what she didn't notice was I was signaling to her, um, her daughter who had um, the ring box in her hand. Out of the corner of my eye, I see my daughter come. Kai's coming with the box, all dressed up, all pretty. And he proposed with the ring that way. And we're like celebrating with my daughter, obviously. And then out of the bushes, which was filled with cat pee, come like my best friends, my mom, my auntie. And he really did a good job of planning it. Like, cause I know I wanted my family there, especially my daughter. And he, um, he made it happen. That's pretty cool.